Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today I wanted to do a what's in my kitchen video basically. I want to show you guys what I have in my fridge, what I have in my pantry, which are really just a lot of cupboards because my kitchen has no cupboard space whatsoever. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get right on into that. Okay, so first off, I have some condiments. So butter and che cream cheese in here. And then I've got mustard, I have some stir fry sauce, soy sauce, barbecue sauce, ranch, mayonnaise, more mustard, um, I have some pesto, which probably is bad, honestly. Oh, still good. So we could definitely use that. And then ketchup. And then moving into the fridge, beer for Matt and some sodas. The sodas that Matt will drink most of the time is the Coke Zeros, and we have the vanilla and the orange vanilla. Those are his favorite kinds. I try to stick away from soda as much as possible. And then we also have Zevias. If I drink soda, this is usually what I will drink, but I, again, I don't usually drink too much soda. This is our uh, Matt's favorite jalapeno cheddar sauce. I prefer salsa con queso, which is by Lay's, I think. And then we have some carrots that we've chopped up that we need to get more of. Some lime juice, more Zevia. So then, moving into this part, we've got some pepper jack cheese. The roast beef is actually our roommate David's, not mine. But we have salami in here, bacon, more cream cheese. So lots of the cheeses and meats. More bacon and some sausages. I love these types of sausages for breakfast. Um, I don't really like breakfast sausage that, too much. I have some eggs in here. I've got two sets of six. Um, and then I also have Greek yogurt. I like the non-fat vanilla flavor of any brand. I like the Danilla one and then this is Open Nature. Honestly, I got the Open Nature one because the Danilla wasn't available. I also have been drinking lots of cranberry juice, mostly to mix with um, liquor. And then we have a Mexican blend cheese, as well as some more pepper jack. That's up in that shelf. Moving into this shelf, we've got some leftovers here, which is mostly just veggies and rice because we make tacos a lot. And then we have some green salsa as well as red salsa. And then sour cream is back there. And we also have pickles. Matt loves pickles. I am not a fan. We have some vodka sauce. We use this one and then like a kale or a kale Alfredo sauce a lot from this brand Sonoma. And then we have my favorite dip brand, Bitchin' Dip, Bitchin' Sauce. This one's the Bombay one, so it's like Thai flavored, but they have a bunch of different flavors and I really love these with like carrots. I'll eat them with anything, honestly, like chips, I don't care. We have some deli meat in here as well. Some turkey meat. And then we have quite a few of these um, tonic water. They're actually diet tonic waters and this was back when Matt was also drinking a lot of gin. He was making gin and tonics. I prefer to drink my gin with like crystal light or cranberry juice, something that's more sweet than the tonic. I don't really lo love the tonic water. We also have some chicken down here. Chicken! And celery. Matt likes celery. I don't really love celery. And then there's some beef down there. That's David's. Veggies. We got lettuce, bell pepper. We got red onion for tacos. Carrots. I need to do something with these carrots. I bought this type of carrot because I want to try to do this recipe I saw that was like bacon, but it's actually carrots. And I want to try it and see how it goes. Um, yeah, there's also jalapenos in here, but that's it for that drawer. And then on this side, teriyaki sauce, milk, and creamer for coffee, which I'm not drinking anymore. Moving on to the top of the fridge. Up on top of the fridge here is where we keep all of our like breads and such. So we have English muffins, corn tortillas, we have bread, like just sliced bread up here, 
big tortillas for burritos. It's not so much for me. My favorite popcorn brand is Boom Chicka Pop. So this is the kettle corn and then just like salt popcorn. They also have a white cheddar, which is so good. And then tortilla chips. And then on this side of the kitchen, we also have this drawer, which is where we keep a lot of like condimenty things. So we have a lot of rice. We cook rice a lot. And then tapatio, which everyone's obsessed with in this house. Chia seeds. I like to put chia seeds in my yogurt in the mornings when I have yogurt. And then more dry creamer, more rice all up in there. Peanut butter, sunflower butter, crystal light, the oil for cooking, Splenda. That's pretty much it. We've got some sriracha up here, Worcestershire sauce, which we rarely use. And that's that. In this drawer is where we keep a lot of our sauces and such, like our dry food, our canned food. So we have a lot of tomato sauces. This is what we use to make our Spanish rice. And then lots of beans. I personally don't love refried beans. I would prefer black beans, but nobody else in this house likes black beans. So they like the refried and I just don't eat the beans often. For snacky stuff, I've got some wasabi peas. We've got some pasta up here, some mixed nuts and things like that. And also some chickpeas and sunflower seeds for toppings and such. So that's pretty much it. I'm also going to be going grocery shopping very soon, but I didn't want to film two videos. So some things that were missing as far as groceries, other than water, which is right here. We do need more water. I really like, oh, I didn't show you the freezer. Pretty much in the freezer, I've got some dried, some frozen fruit for uh, smoothies. And then I keep some meat in here just because we don't eat meat quite often enough to like not have it go bad. And then I have some of these Morningstar Buffalo Chicken, uh, it's fake chicken patties. These are really good for just like, if you want something really quick. And then I also really love the Morningstar Chorizo Crumbles, which is what's next on my order for grocery shopping. So we need more gin, which is our favorite liquor. We don't have any liquor in the house right now. Um, the salsa con queso, which is just the worst thing for you. It's so much fake cheese, but that's fine. That kale alfredo sauce I was talking about by Sonoma. And then that bitchin' dip, if we can find any of it. More Crystal Light. I really like this brand called Protein Plus Pasta. It's made with 50% chickpeas, 50% wheat. So it has more protein in it than ever, like, as far as regular pasta goes. And it still tastes like regular wheat pasta. If I am fine with chickpea pasta, so like for example this brand, the Bonsai or Bonza or whatever, this is um, pasta made 100% from chickpeas. It does have a little bit of a different texture and you can definitely taste the chickpea. Matt doesn't like this so I use this for meals that I'm only going to be eating and then when we're sharing I will split it with like I'll make the protein plus type stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it for what we're missing. We have a lot of what we usually keep in the house here right now. So that's some of the like staples that I keep around in my house. I do want to do some another what I eat in a day video because I want to show you one of the recipes that I've been using a lot for chicken. So I'm hoping to do that soon as well as show you show off my um, yogurt that I eat in the morning because I think the last what I eat in a day was with my egg option that I make in the morning. So hopefully I'll do one of those very soon, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys very soon with a new one and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.